This episode is brought to you in partnership with Choose Chicago. Capture the excitement. Benvenidos. Uh, oh, wow. Look at me. Look uh-huh. at you. Benvenidos. Uh, oh, wow. Little Village. Hey. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Look at it. Boy, y'all thought I came out the gate on y'all. I, I've been, mean, I've been like waiting on that. That's all right. I've been waiting on it. Uh-huh. Shoot. I 77. Can't wait, I can't wait to tell the story of you responding with C, but let's go. Man, come on now, y'all. <laughs> she understood what I was talking about. Uh, <laughs> 77 Flavors of Chicago start right now. This is the podcast where we visit all 77 of Chicago's historic neighborhoods and discuss their heritage and taste the amazing food. And if you know anything about us, we love two things, food and Chicago. So I can't wait to burn this gas money. You ready? Let's get it. This is the 77 Flavors of Chicago, the podcast. Hey, hey, hey we are back, y'all. I'm going to tell you the story real quick. So one time <laughs> we were waiting. at this restaurant. <laughs> We were at this Mexican restaurant, and uh, <laughs> the server that was taking our order was speaking to everyone in Spanish. She got to Dario, and he ordered in English. So she responded <laughs> in English. And then he go, she asked him a question, and he goes, see. Si. <laughs> the question was not a yes or no question. <laughs> it was just an English question that he could have responded to in English. You know, your boys just want to feel included. That's all it is. You know? like, <laughs> I just, just, just want to be a part of the conversation. Yeah, someone's going to be like, why are you trying to try f- strife? Stri- What's Look at word? you. Uh-huh. God got your tongues. You know? <laughs> God got my tongue. And that's that's what black people say. Oh, uh, not the cat? We don't fuck with cats. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. Uh, Dario. Sarah. And we have uh, one of Little Village's own, South Lawndale also. We we know you see yeah, the title. Yeah, yeah. Y'all make some noise for Christy here. Hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> Feel official, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you for inviting me, guys. Hell yeah. Oh, for sure. For Hell sure. yeah. It's an honor. Uh, for those of you that don't know uh, who she is, uh, we'll let her explain, but she is from the Little Village uh, Foundation here. And they do some really good work. Uh, Christy, you want to go ahead and tell them about it? Yeah, so like Dario said, I'm Christy from the Little Village Community Foundation. Mm -hmm. We do entrepreneurial services and programming. So I was born and raised here, and it's an honor to serve my community Mm -hmm. and to help them out this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. Yeah. Uh, So, uh, well, one more about you. So you said you've lived here your entire life. Yeah. Right. Damn. Same house since day one. Same house. <laughs> Crazy. Man. Man. Like, is it big house or is it just, you know, just, what you feel like. What kind of question is that? How I many mean, rooms your house I mean, got? No, no, what? Just Look. <laughs> <laughs> that did come off a little weird. <laughs> anyway, the point I was trying to make is, like, you grew up in it and now you've grown. Like, it should change. Yeah, because, you know? like, when I was, yeah, my parents, my, my family still lives in the same house that I grew up in. And when we were growing up. Uh, my brother and I shared a bedroom, and there was a guest bedroom, and then our playroom. Yeah. And then my sister was born. My brother and I still shared a fucking bedroom. <laughs> we still had a guest bedroom, and then you my see? sister had a room. That's but my she would like chew the hands off my Barbie dolls. Your sister? Yeah. Sama. Yes. She well, she's grown now. But she's chewing hands on Barbie she dolls. Would it, she, wow. And they were like, okay, so we would come to this. <laughs> we would come to Chicago every summer, um, and. My mom, like that, was the only place where you could buy these toys. We didn't have them in Jordan at the time, and so we would buy uh, like little Barbies and stuff. And I would fly them all the way back to Jordan, and then she would like. Tea I had a Barbie them. dream house that she just destroyed. She, she ate that too. She it, she <laughs> got a tea she got. She, ridiculous, <laughs> ridiculous tea. But anyway, I guess that question makes sense because like you do grow, and depending on how many siblings do you have, does your does the house? But I mean, that's a personal question. <laughs> I mean, look, I'm just—I tell you, I couldn't go. Do you over. still share a bedroom with your siblings? <laughs> <laughs> no. There you go. She, she, said, she said, "Answer that right now." Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's about, to, about to mess up my plug on here. Yeah. <laughs> no, but we did growing up, and yeah. It forced us to be close. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Or, like, hate each other. <laughs> like, my brother. No, no, no. My brother and I are pretty close. But not that not as close as my sister and I, which is Yeah, but weird. we done had some, me and my sister, we had some rough years in between. Because <laughs> you shared a be- bedroom with your sister, Sure right? did. Man, one dude, two, 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 two little-ass girls, man. They both younger than me. Yeah, I but did. they're not that much younger than you. I mean, Deidre. She's six uh, years Deidre, apart from me. Yeah, but Deidre's wild. Yeah, me and that homie ain't <laughs> really got that much in common. No. <laughs> I mean, now we cool. You know, I you got to know it. Same you know? sense of humor. <laughs> yeah, we. Yeah, you yeah, guys I mean, are, they learn from me. 
Man, they oh, wanted yeah. the goats living in the house. Oh, okay. you know? right. <laughs> hey, let's ask them what they think. <laughs> Man, look, shit, they know I'm funny. You, know? <laughs> you are they, funny. They know I'm funny. Uh, yeah, it's a pleasure to have you on the, on the podcast. Give a good perspective about uh, South Lawndale and, and uh, Little Village. South what? Come on now, Listen, we're not doing it. <laughs> South Lawndale. Okay, y'all. How, how, what, what are we? Five minutes into it, and she didn't. What is what is this attack on me she for? Said like? South Lawndale. <laughs> You thought I was gonna let that go? Yeah, boy, I'm going. You I'm going off these haritos. You, you know, know what I mean? What time like, it is. <laughs> these things get me bubbly every time. You know what's funny is every time we go, you order it with a different name. Yeah, because sometimes <laughs> you say jarito, sometimes you say haritos, sometimes you say harito. Like every time you say something completely different. Let me just and be then honest. sometimes you just point. Let me. Yeah, I do. Hey, I in play a orange. Safe. I mean, Chrissy over here speaking perfect Spanish. You know what I'm saying? Like you got the the waitress, the owner. She came over here speaking perfect Spanish. What I'm supposed to do? Roja. <laughs> you didn't say that. Well, I did. Hell she, yeah. Again, the server said, "Would you like red or green salsa on your whatever you ordered?" And he goes, "Roja." I ain't. Put, I ain't like, need Roma. R. I just said Roja. You yeah. know? <laughs> just, I ain't need Roda R. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, so so I mean, you are a big part of. Uh, South London, you say you love um, uh, being able to help the community in its capacity. Uh, you want to elaborate a little bit more on what y'all do? Because we've had another podcast on here, uh, another, mm-hmm. another uh, group on here that does something similar, and I think it's a really good thing. Yeah, we do, like I said, entrepreneurial programming. We have three levels. Mm-hmm. We have Juntos Nansamos, which is for startups. Then we have Juntos Emprendemos for established businesses. Mm-hmm. And then we have um, Juntos Avanzamos, which is a micro granting financial literacy boot camp oh wow for businesses who are established and are ready to invest in their business mm. i love that i think it's that that last one is very important because there are businesses that have been around for like two decades right but it's always been like a small little tiny mom and pop shop and like how can you and we've talked about this before where like in order to prevent gentrification you need to invest in the community that already exists. So when you have that many businesses in an area like um, South Lawndale or Little Village, to be more specific, if you invest in those businesses, they're just going to generate more wealth for the community rather than bringing in outside, like, giants, corporations. Yeah, um, yeah so and I really like that. Yeah, me too. Uh, and, be- and especially with the uh, business that's already established. Right. I mean, and we we talked about this earlier in the uh, podcast. Um, excuse me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Y'all. I can't stand you. <laughs> I swear, man. I need someone to listen to every episode and then mark every time Dario has burped on the podcast and said, excuse me, y'all. <laughs> because it is at least once every two episodes. <laughs> it's <just> disrespectful. <laughs> New drinking game. Take me out every time he burps. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. I like it. I like it. I'll be having good thoughts too, and then all of a sudden that should just creep up on me, man. I do the I do the burp face. Uh, um, I forgot the hell I was saying. Uh, oh, but the, you have businesses that don't even have like websites or Facebook pages and things like that. Y'all help them out with that kind of stuff, right? Yeah, we have um, a collaborative. Mm. We believe in partnerships, and our collaborative, one of them does uh, branding. Mm. So something that we've noticed recently is the importance and how much people need branding. Mm. Right, right, for sure. Yep. Um, we, we saw that a lot, you know yeah, what I mean? We like did. We saw that uh, early on, too. We started putting it together, because a, a lot of these mom and pop shops and right. a lot of these local favorites, you know what I mean, don't get a lot of exposure because, you know, it's just word of mouth. You know, you grow up right. in a neighborhood, people know, hey, go down here, 26th mm-hmm. Street, uh, you know, and that's And also, you. like, if they've if they've been here, like the place where we're at today, they've been around for 18 years, mm-hmm. maybe the, you know, and they've been owned by the same family, maybe the grandkids and the and the kids don't, are not interested in the business, so maybe they didn't bring along that. Because, like, we know that a lot of, a lot of times these mom and pop shops, like the grandma's not the one that's making the Instagram page. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> grandma ain't like back there got, on Twitter. You know, <laughs> you know just the reality of it. Like she, she created the recipes. She put together the business. She's built it over the years, but she's not the one handling yeah, yeah. the social media manager. Yeah, yeah, okay? yeah. 
um, you got like 27 year old granddaughter or something. Mm-hmm. And so a lot, maybe sometimes they're not interested in the business. They want to like leave and build their own lives, which is totally fine. Yeah. So you need outside sources to be like, let's guide you through this like unfamiliar terrain mm-hmm. to kind of like. Yeah. I think that's so dope. I think it's dope. I, like you said, it's, it's like integral for the community's sake right. of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. To keep the essence of, you know, who you all are. And, and, and this is a strong, we don't get into it, but this is a strong Mexican, Hispanic, uh, uh, you know, demographic here. And mm-hmm. the presence is, uh, is, is huge. So, yeah, yeah, I, I, I love it. I love yeah. it. No, let me tell you one thing. At the foundation, we believe in corridor revitalization. I don't know how to say that word, guys. Hey, that shit sounds... <laughs> revitalization. Yeah, yeah, you said it. Speak you said it. Yeah. You said yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, got, you did it good? No, you um, said it right. Had a little zhuzh on it, though, but it was. I was <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> 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 flavor. You know? <laughs> Cultural preservation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm forgetting the other one. It's all good. It's no, all good. Ain't nobody gonna hold you, you to it. You can make up anything. No one's gonna be like, that's <laughs> right. incorrect. Shoot, say right of vitalization again. <laughs> <laughs> now you said it wrong. <laughs> and I owe you guys the third one. Hey, we'll get it. We'll get it. We'll, we'll get it. We'll get it. Um, but no, yeah. it's, it's it's dope. I mean, like that's we talked about that so much, um, and not a lot of communities mm-hmm. have that. You know what I mean? Right, like right. a lot of a lot of communities don't. And it's not their fault, you know, necessarily. Um, you oh, know, it's the third a, one is building community wealth. Look at that. I don't know. That's the hey, that's, a, that's the one right yeah, there. Shoot, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's the one. Damn, I can't believe you forgot yeah, that. Yeah, one. for real. That's, that's that should be I your first one. I hope your manager is listening to this. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kim. <laughs> Kim. <laughs> Kim, it's all good. We going off yeah. the retos, you know. What I mean? <laughs> See, you pronounced it different just <laughs> now, <laughs> didn't he? Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> this word is the bane of his existence. He cannot. Y'all, that, if, if there's any word I'm afraid to say, <laughs> if there's any, that is. I feel like part of your brain wants to say jar. Yeah, man, part of me. And like a little jar, so it's a jarito. <laughs> part of me want to. You know what it is? It's the damn double R's. You know what I mean? What do you mean? It's I can barely roll one. Are you supposed to say? That's not <laughs> like, true. You can roll your R's. I can do that. There, you go. there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. But look, like, jarito. Okay, look at me. Jarito. Okay, I yeah. still like I'm not gonna do, yeah. I'm not gonna say You're it no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, they're gonna be like, uh, sir for you, Harito. What's wrong with this dude? Uh, <laughs> what's wrong with this dude? Um we got we got so much to talk about here in South Lawndale, Little Village. Um we you ready you ready to get into it? Let's yeah, let's yeah, get into let's some get history. Into let's let's talk it. about it. But uh we get we get prepared. Uh this is how we get prepared. Hold on, where am I at? Here mm-hmm. you go. Let's get ready. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just got a whiff of watermelon, which is my favorite scent, oh. and along with like fresh cut grass. And I just got a whiff because they make uh, the watermelon water. What? What a grass gonna be in there? I don't know, but it smells the same. <laughs> what a grass. In my head, fresh cut watermelon and grass smell the same. Uh, y'all, we just put a hex on it with that. Uh, look, let's do it again. Let's try that. <laughs> <laughs> you came out with you smell watermelon and grass. What the? Heck? What's going? On? <laughs> That's what, what that did to you. Not what I said. Right. Not what I said. <laughs> Y'all did it. I got a whiff. Yeah, hey, okay. A whiff. Okay. Shit. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's, that button is magical. Let me tell you. <laughs> anyway, tell us about Little Village, uh, uh, South Lawndale. Anyway, uh, yep, yeah, South Lawndale, community area number thirty. Uh, here are the boundaries to the north. You got 18th Street, Sir Mac, and railroad tracks. To the south, Stevenson Expressway, and for the people in the suburbs, that is 55. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and to the east, we got railroad tracks at Campbell. And to the west, we got railroad tracks at Ken. Yet again. Yeah, Crazy. this is the longest railroad tracks in the in, in city of Chicago. I'm gonna say ever. <laughs> yeah, I mean, cool. shit. They the bound, they boundaries of everything. You know, Someone's gonna be like, that's not. True. Yeah, somebody be like, no, actually, the the longest railroad. Ain't nobody asked. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for real. Ain't it's nobody, your own podcast. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You Talk could, about you it. You can spoof falsehoods yeah, yeah. on <laughs> your own podcast. <laughs> Get off ours. Yeah, and we gonna be in the comments. <laughs> trust you. <laughs> With fake profiles. With fake, yeah. <laughs> With, but my picture gonna be the same, so you know what. That would be a picture of the Harito. <laughs> yeah. If, if a profile pic, if a profile is trolling you with a picture of a Harito on it, it's Dario <laughs> undercover. Hey, you know what? I'm changing my profile picture to <laughs> this episode this all week. week. This whole week ain't nothing but Harito. Harito. Hey. I mean. <laughs> hey, see, see, I'm you. Yeah. Y'all, I'm this under word. the influence. I'm under the influence. Um. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is a good one. We wilding right now. Yeah, for we real. Let's, early. Let's, get, let's get into it. You know, here it is. Uh, the first settler uh, was Peter Crawford, and uh, Peter Crawford 
sounds like a very white name, but that's mm-hmm. because it is. Um, he was a real estate speculator. A what? A, a, what? A real estate. Oh. What'd I say? Real estate. I, no, I didn't. <laughs> Did I? That's what I heard. Real estate? <laughs> Damn, wow. You co-signed. Y'all best friends. Okay. I see. <laughs> I see what's going on here. Bruh. <laughs> well, we she was we so got quick. one more thing in common, more than you, and we both can say how to Okay. Goes, so. All right. <laughs> uh, real estate speculator who started uh, farming uh, in the village of Crawford, of course, named after him. Right. That was uh, 1863. Uh, the whole area was known as uh, Lawndale Crawford. Okay. Uh, and I wonder where Lawndale came from. Yeah, right. Well, I did. Uh, you know where Lawndale came from? Lawndale came from uh, because there's a South Lawndale. It's literally on the South. That's the South part mm-hmm. of Lawndale. So, so that's, why right, they, right, right. that's why they named it this. Um, the, it didn't really... It wasn't really populated, you know what I mean, right around the time when he was kind of doing his thing. Um, the first major settlers came after the Chicago fire, which was in 1871. Yep. Uh, you knew that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Burned yeah, down yeah, the whole city. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it was settled by Germans, Czechs, and Bohemians, most specifically. Uh, Polish folks came in uh, later, and right around... Uh, here's some, here's some uh, fun fact about Crawford. There's a reason why I started with Crawford, okay? okay? Uh, I don't know if you knew this, but in 1913... She's like, to be honest, I'm not even listening. <laughs> <laughs> Stuck on the fact that you know. keep messing up Aretho. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Real estate? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still like a baby can't pronounce my asses. <laughs> Alf Lawndale. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Silence, silence. Anyway, um... <laughs> 1913, uh, uh, 40th Avenue was named Crawford Avenue, mm. again, after uh, uh, Peter Crawford. In 1933, uh, Mayor Edwin Joseph Kelly, who was uh, 46th president, I mean, uh, mayor of Chicago, mm-hmm. he changed the name to Pulaski, oh. uh, yes, to win the Polish vote. <laughs> really? Yeah, yep, and of course he did win. <laughs> he, he became he mayor. Win, yeah, he, he, he won. He became mayor. So it's it a big move That's on his part. That's so interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, now, there are still Crawford uh, Avenues um, outside of the city, mm. just not in the city limits. <laughs> 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 it ain't that yeah. That's best bogus, man. That's bogus. They did, they did him dirty. Yeah. Um, uh, here's some, uh, here, so I was saying it's, uh, we were talking about this before, mm-hmm. uh, while we were eating that it's primarily Hispanic and youthful, uh, here. Yeah. Right. It's very youthful. Uh, and I'm gonna give you some numbers then ask for some insight on, you know, like kind of, you know, how that came to be in yeah. 2000, uh, the population in this area is 91,000, uh, people, uh, according to the census, like I said, in 2000, 83% uh, Hispanic 1980 though, it was 47% Hispanic. And here's the crazy part. In 1970, it was only 4% Hispanic. Wow. So uh, in 10 years, it went damn near 10 times the amount of people, five times the amount. Um, uh, uh, Yeah, 15 times the amount. Uh, And then um, in 2000, you know, I mean, obviously, it it doubled, you know what I mean, from that friend in a 20-year span. Uh, 40% of the population is 20 years or younger. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And you were saying, uh, you were saying that that's that's the norm around here. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. So something we've noticed um, is that we serve two types of people. We mm-hmm. serve the mom and pops, and their kids. Mm. And they're two different generations yeah. who both have different needs, and Re- it's really interesting. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, what is like? Can you think of like a diff? What's the main difference between the two? Like, what do you old feel people like? need help with Instagram? <laughs> 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 yeah, no, I mean, yeah, you know, the young people, the the kids, mm-hmm. they care about the branding, they care about the marketing, mm-hmm. and their parents care about, you know, the accounting, right. the bringing people in, making their, That's I don't know, their month's rent or whatever. Right, right, right. 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 That's Old school so stuff. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. They care yeah. about the traditional shit. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. and, and the young folks come in and trying to, but that's that's pretty cool that it stays in the family, though, because you don't get a lot of that. You know, you know, a lot of times, you know, kids want to go off and do their own shit. Right. They, they're not invested in the parents, you know, business, you know what I mean? Or their well-being, so to say, when it comes mm-hmm. to the finances and stuff like that. Yeah. So that the young folks are keeping the business, uh, keeping the community area at home, right. so to say, that's that's pretty huge. That's pretty huge. I agree. And 20, I mean, like, I think y'all need to understand. <laughs> 20 years, I ain't been 20 in 18 years. Uh, so I ain't, I ain't. You're very old, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's been a while. It's been a yeah. while. But it, to even think at that at that age, I was not thinking about trying to run a business. I'll be honest. Right, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so, 
yet a, alone a, my mama's and daddy's? Yeah. Hell no. Well, I also <laughs> I also really like that um, this like younger gen like Gen Z is maybe not as as into the idea of like going to college. Yep. Like they they realize that they have other options. Like you don't have to go to college to be successful or to do anything with your life. Mm -hmm. So a lot of them are choosing to like invest or reinvest in their already existing family business so like like when i was growing up i did not know that you had a choice other than going to college and i probably Same. i probably would not have gone to college mm -hmm. had i known or i would have gone a non-traditional route of like an you know um uh, I don't want to say like a trade, but like like I would have gone to cosmetology school, for example, or I would have gone to like a culinary school, or I would have done something that is not a four-year university. Right, right. And I feel like now, with the spread of social media, you see a lot of people being successful without going to college. Mm -hmm. So it, they're more interested in maintain. And it's very, we're living in like a really nostalgic era. Yeah. So, you know, people want, they miss this, kind like, this. the place that we're in right now feels very, like, nostalgic. Yeah. Um, if you... Very have, different. Yeah. So, I think that also, well, that's my opinion. I don't know if it's true, but... <laughs> it's our that's what I, I feel I like. I agree I'm, with you. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, there we go. So, no one, no one talks shit. <laughs> <laughs> the professional agreed with me. You don't get paid to do what she the does. The professional. So. I mean, yeah, you are Unless you're Kim. And <laughs> you disagree with what and I just everything said. is going on Show right me now. An email Kim. <laughs> we can talk about it. She'll be like, "Yeah, no, don't hear that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> don't hear that. Now nah, y'all got me messed up out here." Um, um, I, well, I did have one other question. So, do you see like new new businesses starting with twenty year olds? Like, the, what kind of businesses are? Um, she nodded yes, by the way, for people that are not. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of online businesses. Mm. Mm. Yeah. There's a lot of. T-shirt businesses, um, retail. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I like Reta that. retail is that, that's a that's a strong business to be in, especially yeah. in a city like Chicago where we got right. a lot of pride. You know what I mean? Like, and especially when you dive deeper into not just the city, you know, my neighborhood. I got a lot of pride where I come from. Right. You know what I mean? Like, so that's a that's a strong business. Yeah, speaking of t-shirts, uh, head over to uh, bepositiveprod.com <laughs> hey. backslash 77 flavors. Try. Go ahead. Get your get shirt on. Your shirts. Yeah, yeah. So we have community area shirts. We have flag shirts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Them community area shirts, man. They, they take a minute to make now, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> like, boy. Y'all. They're like the community... Out yeah, 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 yeah. Those small ass letters. I don't know why I made that shirt. Yeah, that's your design, <laughs> sir. Anyway, uh, but speaking of businesses, uh, we were saying there's like 16, more than 1,600 businesses uh, that's located. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, located uh, along 22nd and 26th Street. Um, now, here's the thing that this is something that I did not know. Like, I did not realize, and I guarantee a lot of Chicagoans didn't know. Probably only people from Little Village knew um, that 26th Street is known as the second magnificent mile here Hell in Chicago. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You, yeah, it felt good. Yeah, let me give you a call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you want to tell us a little bit about that? What, like, what is that? Is that I've never been, y'all. I've never been, and that's crazy. Yeah. I'm from the city, and we were talking, I'm like, damn near 40, and I, I've never even seen the, the arch. We'll get to that in a second, but I've never been down that street. Yeah. Yeah. No, that fact is true. Yeah. It's a fact. <laughs> yeah, during the pandemic, um, when Michigan Avenue closed, 26th Street stayed open. Mm. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. You had another fun fact with that one. Uh, you said it was... Uh, it generated... Yeah, generated more revenue than than Michigan yeah. Avenue. <laughs> Y'all... That's crazy. <laughs> for, okay, let's put that in perspective, because Michigan Avenue is one of the top, I think, five busiest streets mm -hmm. in... Uh, in the state, in uh, uh, the United States, okay, and it's one of the busiest, uh, one of the busiest like business districts mm -hmm. in all the United States. So for this That's to crazy. beat that, I don't care if it's, they only beat it one time, you beat it two times. <laughs> I don't care. But I mean, it's 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 That's second, crazy. it's second to it all the time. All the time, yeah. You know what I mean? So. That's, and that's something we don't even know. But, like, right. you know, that's something that a lot of people, you don't get outside of, you know, the north side. You don't get outside of, yeah. you know, downtown and come see the, you know, Chicago. You know what I mean? Like, you don't see Chicago mm -hmm. and see, like, damn, you, we missing out. You know what I mean? You yeah. missing out. That's, I wonder, what's down what's down there? Everything? <laughs> Everything. So many restaurants. Yeah, that's mm. what I, yeah, I, I read that. Yeah. I think restaurants is the number one type of business here in Little Village, especially yeah, in 26th eat. Street. Yeah, yeah, we love to oh, eat. Wow. Yeah, yeah, we love to eat. Um, hey, I'm, I know I'm about to butcher this word. Uh, Calle Mexico? 
Calle? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what that means. Mexico Street. Mexico Street. Hey, look. Okay, look. Let me get my coin. Y'all ain't gonna give me. I me. <laughs> I give myself a coin. Um, reason why I bring that up is because this is also known as uh, like the Mexican capital of the Midwest, right here. Yeah. And uh, right here again in Chicago, y'all. Like, like yeah. Think about that. Like, this is. Not we we well. You're going to learn in a later episode about the uh, historic, uh, the museum, National Museum yep. of Hispanic Arts and Culture, um, which is in Pilsen. But uh, for this to be like the capital, you right. know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of pride when Hispanics came in and just say, "Hey, look, this is where we, you know, this is where we are." You yeah. know, yeah. yeah. And the so there's the the arch. Um, there's the the arch that just became a landmark this year, mm-hmm. 2022. Um, and you were saying, what was that fact about it? Uh, about that is the uh, first landmark uh, in in Chicago of Latin uh, Latin representation to be landmarked. Yes, that's correct. Y'all, that's come on insane. now, come on now. Uh, y'all. First of all, it's insane that it took until twenty twenty two for yeah, that's, uh, that's insane. A Hispanic landmark to be landmarked. Yeah, I I remember when I saw that news because it kind of came out of left field. You know what I mean? Like to me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, first of all. Yeah, yeah. If y'all gonna count my hiccups, y'all gonna count how many times she dropped the damn uh, mic. Well, no one knows that I dropped the mic until all the time. Uh, <laughs> um, <here>. But uh, <laughs> uh, drunk at the end of the episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, off the Doritos. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's yeah. Wrong, it, it's to me like that. That's a crazy fact that yeah. um, like something like that is the first you know landmark for for Latin Hispanic descent. Like like that. Representation like right. that's why and like the is history. Is it Latin, his, Latin, Hispanic, or Mexican descent? That's my, what I'm curious about. Yeah, yeah, that's. Um, I think you said they, Hispanic, right? They call it Latino. Right. right, right ah, right, okay, right. okay, okay. Um, just so y'all know, it was uh, it was built in 1991. Okay, mm. uh, built 1991. I was minus two years old. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, and what's crazy is that like the 90s was lit. I mean, yeah. the 90s was very lit. Um, that kind of like well, I don't know. I mean, I don't know how it. Wait, you were born in the 2000s. 97. Oh, thank God. Yeah, yeah. I was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. No, I'm still a 90s baby. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Right. Man, that, y'all, I feel he's old an as 90s, hell. He's, he's an 80s baby. I'm an 80s, 80s baby. Kid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Boy, yeah There's yeah. probably more people that listen to this podcast that relate to your age group. Yeah, they probably relate to my age group, my my palate. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they were, y'all relate to all the old heads out there. Here, this is for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Double. Yeah, yeah, you get, y'all get two coins. Y'all get two. I'm out here representing for your boy. You know, for it's y'all. Like the hearing is not so good, so they needed it twice. So sure wow. Hey, up. look, y'all. I'm she sorry. Went there. Yeah. Damn, damn. I know we we're old. We're in our twenties. Even lie. though I'm in the last one of my twenties, yeah, yeah, but yeah. we're still. Yeah, yeah. You better, you better. The moonlight about to hit. Wow. <laughs> wow. First of all, you're uh-huh. about to be forty, so well, I don't know like, what wow. you're talking about. Then you say we're black, don't crack. You know what I mean, <laughs> look at your boy. Y'all ain't looking young. How many naps do you take a day? <laughs> look, I get them in. I don't care. <laughs> Y'all ain't gonna play me you, on this podcast. You old man now. <laughs> you just put your head back and you fall asleep y'all, anyway. Y'all let me. If I sniff snacks, I'd be sleepy. I'd be sleepy. <laughs> if he eats too many carbs, he falls asleep. Oh. If he eats too much. If he eats red meat, he has to take a nap. <laughs> if he eats anything with sugar, yeah, he, ha- he gotta take a nap. After this, if he drinks two sodas, he boy, takes a nap. Boy, hey, you, I, hey, I catch my Z's when I can. I don't play about them. <laughs> and he gets like eight hours of sleep a night. It's sure. all like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it must be nice. Yeah. <laughs> Look, y'all. First of all, you know? I work out here. I do work. You know what I mean? I know. <laughs> I work. I do get. I get my sleep. I get my sleep. That's why yeah. I guess That's why I fake be acting young. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> fake be acting. Like, I do. No, I'm, you're young. You're I'm, young. Mm, I'll be young on stage. Spirit. People be like, "Yo, where you get all this energy from?" Uh, nap uh, right around twelve yeah. one o'clock. You know? <laughs> like, like twelve I watch, to three. I yeah. watch my stories and then I go to bed. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> um, I got a couple uh, notable people I want to say before mm. we uh, before we close out the uh, history part of it. Um, uh, Jesus Chuy Garcia, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's from the area. He, if, if for those that don't know, he is a U.S. Uh, House of Representatives uh, uh, member uh, as of 2019 uh, mm. for uh, for Chicago. Um, one of Little Village's own. And then here's another one. Here's another one, y'all. <laughs> Did y'all know that Pat Sajak of Will of Fortune? Grew, oh, really? Grew, grew up here. Yes, he went to Farragut the, High School too. The guy that hosts. The yes, show? yeah, the guy that hosts. Yeah, wow. Pat Sajak. I never knew his name was Pat. Yeah, <laughs> you never knew his name was. What you thought they called him? Nothing. I don't know. I've you never know, heard. You anyone. just been saying the Will of Fortune man. Yeah. Ain't nobody ever said that. <laughs> 
I don't think I've I've watched a lot of Wheel of Fortune. I don't ever remember anyone talking about him by his name. Really? Chance the Rapper got a song. I'm definitely wrong. I'm about to say, uh, Chance the Rapper got a song. He said, "Pat me." uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, No, Kanye. Kanye. He said, uh, "Pat, don't say Jack" or something like that. That was a like little play on. Damn, I'm old. Wow. Like, your <laughs> oh, responses wow. make me feel old as hell. Like, <laughs> it's on purpose. Your reaction. <laughs> anyway, Pat Say Jack, y'all. He went to Farragut uh, here mm. uh, in uh, Lawndale uh, area. And, yeah, he's from here. Interesting. I, I saw that and I was like, uh, damn. I, who knew? That's why you've been wilding out. I do that. I'm sorry. I do the little paper flip thing. <laughs> little paper flip. Yeah, I got that from uh, Around the Horn. Um, hey. Yeah, but uh, uh, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, Pat Chase had a rough, <laughs> he had a rough year last Wait, year. Why? He was in the news for wilding out. He didn't what he, did he say something? Yeah, he said something wild. Really? <laughs> on on camera. <gasps> you know, during the show. No. I think so. I, I mean, look, that, that's as just Chicago as you can get. Real a fortune <laughs> scandal. <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> no, we ain't gonna put that boy Pat out there. Um, oh, here's the line. He said, "Matter of fact, like Pat, don't say Jack." That's what uh, oh. uh, Kanye said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but we won't elaborate on Kanye. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> Lord, she podcast. said, she said, "Oh Lord, no, don't do it." Um, y'all, that's the fun facts. We add a lot of food. We are inside of a a restaurant that's inside. Well, of before a, we go, I'm sorry, store. I'm sorry to interrupt you. No, but no, no. Before go we go to that, I want to talk a little bit about how the community has changed y'all, over yeah, the go last ahead. like, yeah, yeah, uh, you know, a few Take years or something. But well, I wanted you to talk about how the community has changed because I don't live here, so I don't know. Um, <laughs> and I feel like there's not a lot of you know, there's usually uh, people don't uh, do like research papers on how a community has evolved. But um, you, I mean, we talked a little bit about how it's obviously become a lot younger because people have stayed. But what are some other things that you feel like it's changed over the last like five or ten years? Or hmm. do you? Because uh, like it's not getting gentrified necessarily, right? No, I. I don't think it's getting gentrified. I think because it's getting younger, it's getting more modern. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm, cooler. And I think that's the main. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's the main change. Yeah. 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 That's a good, that's a good ass change. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> that is like how you counteract gentrification. Invest yeah. in the community that already exists. Yeah. Well, the cool thing is too is I mean when you when you got the title around the city as the uh, second Michigan Avenue, right. uh, um, uh, magnificent mile. Uh, that's cool right off the top. You right. know what I mean? Like, and for, sure. and for those of you that don't know, uh, the Magnificent Mile is yeah. absolutely magnificent. Uh, <laughs> it is absolutely. Yeah. So for this to even be in that category, I had no clue about that fact. I had no clue yeah. that it was that that it was that busting down here. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's a lot of murals, a lot of artwork yeah, down here. Artwork. Um, uh, just like how, you know, we learned, uh, you know, other community area. But this is like, this is part of the culture. This is this is the the life here, y'all. And like, look, you, you can see the, the little flower right here. You know, got, got Mother Mary right there. What do you right feel there. like the flower? Hmm? What, what I feel like it represents? Is that what you're about to say? Yeah. Uh, matter of fact, you know what's crazy? <laughs> Damn, I'm old. My eyes like going. You meant to say feather. I, no, I didn't even see this flower. I, I was looking at the picture. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, you got astigmatism in time. You right? sure do. This is, <laughs> that shit th- look, it looked 3D now that I look at it. You know? <laughs> yeah, we're sitting in a very, <laughs> it's, it's a very like, you you feel you feel like you could be in Mexico. Very colorful yeah. in here. Yeah, yeah it's, it's honestly in my head when you ask me like what colors do you associate with like a, a place in Mexico? I think orange and green. Yeah. I don't know why orange, green, and red like come to my head as and that's literally the paint is orange, green. The tables are super colorful. The yeah. chairs are like orange, green, yellow, red. Traditional um, Crayola box. You know yeah. what I mean? Like the, like the, the I mean, standard eight. Uh, like. <laughs> My experience is that it's a very happy culture. It's a very bright, colorful, very hopeful community. And it's like very, again, it's a very community-based. The United States is a very individualistic society where people exist as by themselves. And, you you know, you may not see your family for like a year or two. But that's not the case with, my, from my experience, that's not the case with like Latinx communities or, or it's a very like, What's the opposite? Family oriented. It's very family oriented. There you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's really nice to see like a pocket of that in the middle of the city where yeah. people like actually care about each other and like, you know. Yeah. You yeah. live in the same house that you grew up in yeah. for like forever and your whole family's yeah, around a, you. Yeah, that's a, yeah. that's a that's a feat in itself. Let me tell you. <laughs> that's, yeah. a, that's a ooh, I couldn't live with I mean I, I talk <laughs> I literally talk to my mom every single day. And she lives halfway across the world, but I talk to her every single day, at least like once or twice a day. And that's once or twice, y'all. It's like four <laughs> or five times a day. They but, be up here FaceTiming. But it's it's not even like it's not even that. Um, 
it's not even that weird. Like, no. we're a very family-oriented culture. I don't fuck with the rest of my family. Don't get me wrong, okay? They go, they go to hell. <laughs> but like my That's immediate, so <laughs> thing <too. laughs> Bruh. okay. Yeah. We're about to get controversial. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shit. Shit, this is a con- controversial. Somebody's abuelita about to come up in here <laughs> with a spoon. But like my immediate family, even if I don't like them all the time, we are very close. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, there's. I, I've learned to set boundaries as I live in this country that is all about setting boundaries, yeah. and I like learned that through therapy, but. All in all, I feel like we're very hey, mushed. Long as long as my family and like one thing on uh, social media, I know they're alive. I'm good. Wow. <laughs> wow. I know. I know they they made it. They make it. They, <laughs> God done woke you up today. <laughs> so, that's all I need. I don't need no wow. phone call. We good. <laughs> uh, y'all, <laughs> let's talk about. I feel like I was real silly this uh, first. I, it's it's that. <laughs> Yeah. Is there anything else you want to touch on? Anything else we didn't talk about? I feel like we talked a lot before we ate, but I don't want to miss anything yeah, yeah. that you felt like you're orga- you wanted to mention about your organization or like the community or I don't know if I missed anything. Yeah, I wanted to say that um, with the foundation last year, we had a micro granting program mm-hmm. during, that started during the pandemic called mm-hmm. Road to Recovery. Okay. Mm. And we handed out about... Seven hundred thousand dollars. Wow! The community. We we helped two hundred and fifty businesses. What? And That's insane. No one was doing that. What? That's crazy. And the Little Village Community Foundation did it. Shit. Wow! I'm See, going to, I'm going to Little Village. <laughs> <laughs> like I was moving to Little Village. Wow! That's that's really cool. Um, and the, the foundation hasn't even been around for that long. No, it started in 2018. What? That's and y'all out here passing out seven hundred thousand dollars. To, wow, to 250 businesses. Yeah. That's fire. Is, is this, is wow. this um, uh, a, a program that like anyone can apply to, or like how does that how does that yeah. process work? Like how can people take advantage of, of programs in general? Uh, for the road to recovery, we're not doing it at the moment. Mm-hmm. Um, we all hope we can do it again soon because we know that helped and that it helped our community a for little sure. bit. Yeah, yeah, um, for sure. But with juntos, um, if you're interested in Starting or expanding a business, um, email us at info at lvcfchicago.org or give us a call at 773-621-8245. Our programming is completely in Spanish. Um, It's for our community. And... Let us help you make your dreams come true. <laughs> oh, I love that. Hey. That, was, that was a little sales pitch. <laughs> no, not, in a, not in a... It's not in, s- we're not it, even it in came a, from the heart. It did. It did. <laughs> I love that. I'm sitting here. I'm just like, this is amazing. Like yeah. this, this is good. I love that there's people that are like so passionate yeah. about their... And doing something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, the 700000 ain't like work. You know what At I mean? At all. Like, like to, first of all, to get the funding to yeah, be yeah. able to do that. Because like, I'm sure you raised that money... Right or you like ask the city for funding or what? Like, you know the bu- this is another word I can't pronounce bureaucracy Bu- bureaucracy around yeah. getting like city funding or like uh, fundraising and raising money to help these that that shit not easy. Yeah, no, it's, it's so, not. Like, and it's not even a, not, I don't want to say not accessible because it is accessible, but you have to like you don't know about these things. You right, know what I mean, right. like it's those are the things that are not talked about. I feel like for me, a lot of stuff that is in the city that goes unnoticed. Those are the things that help people out. You know what I mean? Right. Like With this Road to Recovery program, one thing we learned is that we had to get their trust. Mm. Mm. A lot of the times, um, these past years, the community was done dirty by other people and mm. other whatever. Like, I won't get into it. Yeah. Um, but with us, word of mouth again. Um, mm. Like, if we got a grant for someone... Then they went to their Told friend, somebody, yeah. their neighbor. I love oh, that. Oh, look, these people, they're giving money for the um, for the pandemic. They're going to help you out. And it was word of mouth, and we started gaining their trust. And mm. trust is so important. That just gave me goosebumps. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's everything to everybody. That. Shit. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? Like if if I if man, wow, that's see, those are the th- I swear, those are the things we need to talk about more. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like that's and good stuff for the community. Yeah, you know, we, as always, we say it's 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 okay to criticize the city that you live in, and and you know, notice that there are things that need to be done better and done differently because it comes because you don't criticize something you don't love. Mm-hmm. But it's also important to realize that there are organizations and foundations that are out here actively, like every single day, trying to improve the the light the. Li- the the life of the people that live in these communities because these are areas that are often like forgotten like we talked before like no one would come out here no one was like putting funding into this these neighborhoods so people from within the community had kind to do of it. like yeah you had to yeah. do it and you see what it, it's doing you know what i mean like when you when you invest in the community right. you know what i mean like like these are this is tangible proof you know what i mean that yeah. like if you if you invest something, you know, good will happen. You know, you'll become right. the second busiest city street in the in the city. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, so I think it's fantastic, man. We need more. You all, uh, GSDC, uh, mm-hmm. Greater Southwest Development, uh, on, all of the chambers of commerce yeah. that also do similar work. Yeah, you know, look look in your community because there are multiple organizations and foundations that independently work yeah. to like help better fund. Their communities. Yeah, so yeah. Look out for that. Hey, hey. Well, I mean, we gotta, I'm coin yeah. heavy. I'm coin heavy this episode. You, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, this is. I ain't been coin heavy in a little bit. I feel like it. You know. Like, yeah. This is, if we get some coins out here. Now, can we? Can yeah, we talk about yeah. Let's talk about, let's <laughs> talk about the food. Let's uh, about. We'll be right back, y'all. Uh, Cause we are. We we ate some good ass tacos, hey. man. Like, hey, I, we'll be right back. Dion Chicago Dream is a nonprofit fighting food insecurity through its Dream Deliveries weekly free fresh produce delivery program. The goal is to feed families, create community, and fuel hope. You can visit www.dionschicagodream. That's D I O N S Chicago Dream.com or search Dion Chicago Dream on social media to support. Learn more and join the food fight. I got a new intro for this portion. Hey, we fu- that's right. This portion of the episode is brought to you by Choose Chicago. <laughs> uh, the number one tourism, blah, 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 for the city of Chicago. <laughs> Forgot the tagline. But capture the excitement, capture y'all. Capture the excitement. <laughs> We're about to capture these tacos in my mouth. Hey, Paul. Okay. <laughs> I could have said meat, but I said tacos. Hey, that's so what she so said. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get it. We all have, right, we yeah. are at La Chaparita. Yep. Chapa- what happens in Chaparita Rita. stays in Chaparita. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the yeah, the owner is, is the owner's husband's laughing right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he heard it. He heard yeah, it. Heard it. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, of course, sir. Everybody in this restaurant can hear you right now. Um, <laughs> which is where are we? La Ch- are, Chaparita. I know, but what? Where are we? In, 25th oh, twenty fifth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twenty fifth and. I, I've Whipple. never heard of the name of the street. You never heard of Whipple? Yeah. Shit. We used to get a crack on Whipple down. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. What yeah, were yeah. you doing? Like, I mean, it's, yeah. it's not the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I was living my life, is what I'm wow. saying. <laughs> you know, I got, um, uh, I actually like got. Like hoe shit? No, I got, man, look. You I got, like, what's going on here? <laughs> I got frost nip on oh, Whipple. Oh, no. I got frost nip on were Whipple. Were you shirtless? That's why. No, no, no. Put your fro- shirt on. Frost, oh. see you thinking of nipples. Like I that's did. what is going on here, bro. <laughs> oh, your fingers. Frost my fr- yeah, yeah. That's the stage right before Frost bite. Oh, yeah, that yeah. must have hurt. Man, it's scared. I was out of breath and shit. Like for real, like it was crazy. Oh yeah, it, yeah, it, it does it, do that. It ain't. It, Wait, this what? ain't about me. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, this ain't. <laughs> this ain't about me. Let's talk about the food. <laughs> um. Well, f- you picked the place. Yeah. yeah. So you want to yeah. tell us why you picked the place? Because I think it's a hidden gem. Hey, that's what we need. That's, that's, a, that's usually our criteria is uh, give us a hidden gem. We we um we we talked to the owner. He was talking to us right before we you know mm-hmm. press play here. Uh, owner's husband, I should say, yep. uh, and owner. But th- it's been around for what, eighteen years. Eighteen years, um, and he's got some very uh, cool stories. Yeah. You know about like yeah. the people uh, that he's met through here and kind of mm-hmm. uh, kind of like uh, interacted with. And what I've from all of that, it's just it's really cool. We always say the food tastes so much better when the owner and the and the and the people come out and they just talk to you. You could tell it was genuine. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like he was really cool. He was. I didn't think he was going to get this podcast started. To be honest, which I was like, damn. But it's uh, <laughs> <laughs> man, I'm like, you join, join. We got a fourth mic. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, like, 
Yeah. Um, but it was it was so dope. You it's know what I mean? Very funny. Yeah, yeah, very funny. Very, like, um, yeah, and, and and loves and and loves it. He told a story how he had to uh, <laughs> he had to like uh, woo his wife. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> to, and, and when they first met, um, she made him uh, sell um, uh, what. Miles. Tamales uh, <laughs> outside. <laughs> outside, he had to sell tamales outside. Yeah. And uh, once he passed that time, she let him indoors. And uh, <laughs> yeah. So basically, the story of the place is that, if I, if I remember correctly, the the owner's mom used to make and sell tamales, right, mm-hmm. out of a cart, and then they opened up this location that we're pause though oh, she yeah. was the first lady right. to yeah. sell tamales in the street the, right the first Isn't lady the first lady to sell tamales in the street yeah so like 30 something years ago y'all right you realize yeah. this is chicago <laughs> like you realize yeah. how important that is yeah <laughs> like how big that is they don't they don't make tamales anymore uh but they have an extensive menu that is absolutely delicious mm. um but the story of the place is 18 years ago they opened up and she actually she said i don't remember when we opened up what year we opened up i just know it was in may but um i can't remember who was pregnant and her son is now like 16 or 17 so that's how she remembers the year <laughs> <laughs> wow hey, that's, like, that's wow. a hustle that's a grind <laughs> she, she was like yeah. hey Little boy is uh, 16, 17. That's yeah. when, that's when. <laughs> you were pregnant with him, must yeah, yeah. be 18. Um, but yeah, so the place that we're in right now, it's it's a it says it's a grocery store slash restaurant, mm-hmm. but it's it's more of the way um, the owner talked about it is that it's more for like the nostalgia of being in like an uh, a place in Mexico. And again, it says Estilo de F, which is again Mexico City. It's no longer there. Figure. It's like it's like uh, Washington D.C. is what right. you were saying. Yep. Yeah, but it's it's now Ciudad de Mexico. But anyway, uh, <laughs> so it, it's like literally like being in one of those places, and you have like the Mexican candy and like the uh, toiletries and you know like little fun toys and stuff like that. So she said that you know they don't really worry about selling the product that's sitting out here. It's more of like just for the vibe. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. I mean, and it. it I just said all that in Spanish, and I understood it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't understand nothing. <laughs> I ain't understand nothing. You just I, said see. Man, look, I let y'all do all that. <laughs> but what's cool though is that like you don't almost you you almost don't feel the stuff around you like in yeah. here. You know what I mean? Like it. I don't know. It just don't feel like it's like shit hanging above you. It's it's like a grocery store here you know, too. There is shit hanging above you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like it, there's a lot of it uh, hanging above you, but like it. It feels. I just. I normal. really like it. I love. I like. Really like the en- the energy, the vibe in here. Yeah, yeah. I like the colors. You know what I mean? Yeah, like the, the, yeah, What the do colors you think? Are. Tell us. Tell us what you think of where we are. Because you picked I it. I love it. Every single food I've tried from here is delicious. Mm-hmm. And like you guys said, it reminds me so much of Mexico. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's why I love coming here. Yeah. What's funny is, uh, so we we asked Chrissy, "Do you come here often?" She said, uh, "No, not really." And then she said, "I've been here like three times." And so then I was like, uh, "It is uh, April, so, uh, so and April month. just started, so that's once a month." Uh, so, so you do like it? That's a lot. <laughs> you come here often, don't you? <laughs> and like the modesty there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but also, I forgot part of the story is that the where they're cooking out of right now used to be two bathrooms right mm-hmm. i think that's what you said yeah and they were going to uh, renovate something and then her mom gave her some money to help her like start up and kind of gut that entire area wow. out and turn it into where the kitchen is and it's you could see through it so it's like an open kitchen you can you just sit there and there's like little circles and you can see through the kitchen which i love that i love watching the food being yeah. made yeah. um you got to be patient because you know everything is made to order yeah um but it's like it's like a fun experience. So, yeah. uh, fun fact, and I don't know if this is true about this place, mm-hmm. but a lot of old Chicago buildings had a uh, subway tile in it because because oh. a lot of the uh, and and if you see subway tile, um, uh, it is very distinct, and that's what it looks like. Um, but a lot of building old buildings just had uh, walls built over it, right uh, over the subway tile, and they didn't destroy it. Uh, and that's what that looks like. Uh, yeah, Possibly, because that's 20 years old. Yeah, so you're probably, it's probably older than that, too. Right. You know what I mean? Like, um, So I wonder, you know, if, if this has a bit of old Chicago in it, which is Possibly. which is even cooler, you know what I mean? Um, because this is this is one of the, you know, this is an old area, you know what I mean? Right. This, this uh, uh, South Lawndale is 
it's pretty old. You know what yeah. I mean? We, the, we talked about the origins back to 1863. So uh, I, I wonder. I'm looking at it now. And I, yeah, that's my little some more history. I'm sorry. I just yeah. Also, the place was like fully packed when we came in. Yeah. A, a lot of like young people, like the table that was sitting next to us, looked yeah. like they could be in high school. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> like, like they still yeah. in high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, which I really like that because like it, it's obviously not just loved by uh, the people that like necessarily like know the owner or you know have been coming here for forever. It's also being frequented by people that are. Uh, just recently discovering it or like maybe their families used to bring them here and now they're older and they can come here by themselves. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just, it's... You like it. Yeah. Yeah, I like I it. Um, I can tell you why I love it. Uh, it is because of the food. So, yes. um uh, we go what down. What did you have? So, um, <laughs> y'all, uh, tacos. <laughs> I, I, so I had more than tacos, but yeah. Um, so I had the. Uh, it was the uh, carne asada. Yeah, yep. asada uh, tacos. But here's the difference with these tacos. Um, mm-hmm. It were like. They were like shaved pieces of, yeah. of meat that were cooked. Um, it was literally like a s- skirt steak. Yes. That's like cut up into like longer. S- livers. Yeah. <laughs> 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 These are technical terms, y'all. We're professionals. Yeah. We are y'all, professional food y'all, I, critics. I, I, I don't know, man. Like, I, but you, but Remember it was Nick, different. Nick Kendallsberger said that all you need to do, do to be to be a, a professional food critic is to just start criticizing the food. Yeah, that's it. That's all. That's all you gotta do. I just, like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah just start talking about it. To. He's the food critic for the, the Chicago Tribune, by yeah. the way. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. You know, if anyone knows, God, shout out to Nick. shout out. First of all, shout out to Nick. I yeah, feel like he's like the godfather of this podcast. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like he he helped baptize this podcast. You know? You know? Like we wouldn't be here without him. If y'all don't like this podcast, take it up with Nick. Yeah, yeah, Nick. Nick loved it. Don't come at us. Go to Nick. Nick loved it. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, so I had the uh, carne asada uh, mm-hmm. skirt steak, and I feel like they only had two, which is weird. Because it is normally weird. I get like three or four. Yeah. You know, I don't but know. You had the. I had the long, long taco. Oh, yeah? What is it called? <laughs> Her- Horatious. <laughs> <laughs> I was close. <laughs> no. She said, said no. <laughs> she said, no. <laughs> you said her riches. <laughs> Oh God! Yeah, this is look. So I'm dying funny. over here. It's, just, it's a slow death. This is a let's see. What would what are we a minute fifty and I'm up. I'm I'm dead. I'm dead, y'all. Uh, what is it called? Waraches. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Waraches. Yeah. Hey, hey, yeah. Second yeah. second go time. I was good. Yeah. The 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 trick is that the H at the beginning of the word. Yeah, yeah. See, I'll be forgetting that. <laughs> I'm, yeah. But I was close though. <laughs> she said no. <laughs> She's like no, you weren't. Uh, no, you weren't actually. So, uh, she used to be a teacher. So yeah, oh yeah. So I'm she's definitely like you were very far. I get, I got, I got a F. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> this episode. Uh, uh, what was what was the meat on your long taco? Pause. <laughs> <laughs> Pause. Now hold on. That's what she said. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> uh, um, I had, I had more steak. <laughs> I, I mean, y'all, I'm just getting clown this whole. <laughs> This, this is no, uh you're not, you're not. anyway uh no no it's fine it's, i can handle we're it we're laughing you know? together yeah yeah right <laughs> um but so if any nobody had it before it is i'm i don't know why i'm explaining it, but a lot of people didn't have had yeah, it yeah. it's just a it's it's not even really a taco it looked like a, a tostada like, almost it's like a long boat yeah right long boat that has all the stuff that would be in a taco just right. on top of it yeah. um and here's here's a hot take. I don't know. I might like that a little bit better. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you want to describe the layers of the, it? I was about to say. I feel Sorry. like because you get the you get sauce yep. everywhere on mm-hmm. everybody. You know, you get uh, <laughs> a lot of meat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All over that taco. <laughs> Just sauce and meat on the taco. Relax. <laughs> relax. <laughs> relax. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I knew I knew I was gonna get to that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, and then you get the cheese, uh, yeah. like you know. So for me, and it was and onion. yeah, yeah, yeah. So for me, it was like every bite that you got mm-hmm. was you know. Sometimes you could you could get a taco and the you know you biting a lot of tortilla. You know what I mean? Right. Like you know, that's fair. You know what I mean? Like this one, it was, and I don't know. Maybe maybe the flavor was a little bit more. I don't it know. It was really good. Yeah. You know, I, I don't know. I feel like it was it was different. You also said that the like the the salsa set it off. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I, I don't know if they got special salsa here. <laughs> What's going on? I think they they make it. But so. did that shit was that was really good. Yeah. Cuz it really it really carried it through, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um also I want to say that the uh, the breading on that was 
uh, a little thicker too. So it was like the, it was like it's like a piece of bread almost. The tortilla. The tortilla. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> she said, "Don't disrespect she said, me." She said, "Don't how dare you? Tortilla. How dare you say <laughs> breading, <laughs> sir?" <laughs> I will. Like, it looks like bread. I was like, "Y'all, the... yeah, well, I'll do better next time." Podcast. <laughs> like, I, it was a flat bread. Yeah, yeah, um. it, was, <laughs> it was some flat bread. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, that's that's what I had. Um, you also tried the tacos de canasta. Which ask me what those are one more time. <laughs> <laughs> look, y'all, they was potato tacos. No, they're they're <laughs> they look like and em- empanadas. That's what they look like. No, I, they're steamed. <laughs> tacos. How like, dare you part two? I'm, I'm, how dare you part two? Bro, I'm sorry, <laughs> y'all. I'm just describing it how I see it. That's, That's what fine. I'm That's all right. It's a it's a steamed taco okay. that has chorizo and potatoes inside okay. mashed like mashed potatoes and chorizo together <laughs> inside of a steamed taco y'all i tried but how would you think of those you know i they i like them they were good they yeah. they weren't my favorite you yeah. know what i mean not that, and i'm not saying they bad at all because it was good you know what i mean but you know i like more <laughs> i like more meat and than uh than, <laughs> than i like more meat than mm. um than potato yeah so well these are like these are like a quicker bite. These are like I don't think they're meant to be a full meal because you get six for eight dollars. Yeah, which and they're is smaller. a good deal. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could you could put the whole thing. In your mouth. But, uh, <laughs> this is not good. Someone some, cut the butter yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Somebody else described the food. Uh, <laughs> what did you have? <laughs> Tell us about what you was putting in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. This is your turn. I'm <laughs> my finger ready. I'm ready to get ass. You know. <laughs> I'm like literally thinking of how I'm gonna say yeah, it in yeah. my head. <laughs> good, good luck. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. Good luck. <laughs> no, I had the tacos de asada mm-hmm. with um, cebolla and cilantro, which mm-hmm. is onion and cilantro, of course. Mm-hmm. And then I had a huarache de nopal. Mm. Nopal is cactus, and it's right. a very iconic food in Mexico. I had I had a bite. <laughs> yeah. Of of the cactus. That was you said your first time. Yeah, I, I I've never had cactus. You know what I mean? Like, what did you think? <laughs> it was different. You know what I mean? I feel like I feel like I didn't get a fair shake of the cactus. I don't know what cactus by itself tastes like because I had it on the, uh, you know, with all the sauces and the cheese and everything like yeah. that. Which it was it was fine, y'all. It was you know good, I mean? right? Yeah, it was fine. You know, like it's like a, it's like uh, it gets a little gelatinous. Um, there we go. And that's the best way I could describe it. It's like a little. It's not crunchy. I can't. Yeah, I mean, I think gelatinous is probably the best. Right. You just, yeah. you just trying not to get that button press. That's all it is. Look, just say what you want to say. <laughs> stop, stop trying to. No. I'm yeah, not. yeah. Look at you trying I'm to avoid. Not. Y'all got me out here. I don't know. How would you describe it? Like for someone that's never had cactus before. Pass the book. I don't even know because I've been having it ever since I was a little girl. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> no, nah, I'm, I'm not pressing yeah, that button. No, 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 no. Nope. No, I, I was uh, like, <laughs> I'm trying to see what would it, what it, what does, what does it taste like? Okay, do you know how like pickled carrots? Yes. Okay, but they're I little gelatinous on the inside. A pickled carrot. Yeah. Yeah. What? Or even a pickled cucumber, but uh, it's like that, that kind of crunch where it's not like very crunchy, but it's, it's like. Who has had a pickled carrot before? Me. I ain't never had no pickled carrot. It's a carrot. Mexican thing. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Well, <laughs> I ain't never. You ain't never Jardinera, even about it. That's pickled. It, that's not a carrot, though. Yeah, you did pick carrots I mean, I and guess, I, mean, I guess the orange. Wait, ain't the orange piece just. Carrots. That, that's carrots. Lord have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, Lord have mercy. Uh, okay. Uh, wow, you learn something new every you day know? on this podcast. Actually, peppers is a good one. Like green peppers. Think of like when you cook green peppers, bell peppers. Yeah. That's kind of like what it would taste like. Really? Slightly more gelatinous, yeah. I'm still stuck on the the, the carrots being pickled. I ain't never. I ain't never. <laughs> yes, like, you have. <laughs> you just probably never noticed. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I bet you a lot of people don't know these things that I don't know. Yeah, also. I have a serious question for you. What? What did you think it was? Uh, you know, I, I don't know. It was, <laughs> I don't, that's a good <laughs> <answer> question. <laughs> You know, I don't know. I don't know the what orange. I thought it was. Yeah. It just looked like a pepper. I thought like a, you know, uh, you know, that's what I thought. Mm. I also did not know that uh, grits were corn. Oh, yeah. I didn't know, I didn't know that. Were corn. I didn't know that either. So to he be fair. I thought it was another like <laughs> grain. <laughs> to be fair, I, you know, uh, you got to find out how I found that out later uh, <laughs> to be, to be but determined. Dar- Dario eats for sustenance. Yes. So he doesn't eat for enjoyment. 
Yeah, no. He, so he'll eat, like if he if he <laughs> had to, he would eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches every day, all day, yeah, like, forever. From the South Side, shoot, I eat I eat them on crackers if I need wow. to. <laughs> like, I don't even need bread. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Shit, bad, I bet. I don't even need the crackers. I just yeah. take a spoon and a, and a knife and just, <laughs> just make a little. Just, peanut I lick, butter and jelly lick the spoon first and then lick the knife. <laughs> and then just do, do one of these in my mouth. Well, all right. Well, this podcast lost all credibility. <laughs> one of the hosts does not eat food. <laughs> gargle them and mix them together. That's all I <laughs> You gargle them and make shit. Okay, well, hey, look, let's, bring hey, this to, let's bring this to a close. I, I do what uh, I had like, to do <laughs> <laughs> to survive. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to do that. <laughs> Sorry, you live in Lakeview. I ain't know that, but this, I'm talking about when I was a shorty. You know? Oh, your mom is going, or someone from your family is going to listen to this and be like, you're lying. No, they're going to be like, why are you telling the family <laughs> yeah, secrets? Right? Your dad used to like be a chef. <laughs> yeah, she, she wasn't always easy. <laughs> yeah, but you weren't gurgling peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> they heard me. They, what you doing? Brush your teeth? No. <laughs> That's probably something you did. I come in, my mama. I'm hungry. <laughs> uh, he did eat cold hot dogs. So sure did. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I was eating them out the pack. You know. <laughs> that one I remember. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look. I ain't. It ain't. I'm. I'm. Shoot. I am who I am, y'all. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at me on the podcast. Talk about it. <laughs> anyway, I mean, continue. That's, I'm sorry. That's what the podcast is for. So you can talk about it. I feel like I've been obnoxious as well. Oh, no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I had. I also had the warache, uh, But the one that I got was. What did I get? Pastor. Yeah. Uh, which I, I really like pastor. Yeah. Um, it was really, really good. I got it with the green. Then you get the uh, yeah yeah I thought it was chorizo. What did we? I did. That's the tacos de canasta. The, okay, yeah, yeah. It was chorizo and, pa- and potatoes. Um, it was really good. I yeah, mean, it was yeah. good. It was really good. I feel like I feel very like very well seasoned. Yeah, very flavorful. I think that's where this place really shines is the seasoning. You know yeah. what I mean? See, when you get the home cooked stuff, you I mean they be putting other things in it that you know you don't get yeah. from other places. And like that, that was the first thing that I taste when when I you know took a bite. I was mm-hmm. like, man. The sauce and seasoning is different. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. so, yeah, they, they do something here. I we, It's a family recipe. I, yeah. ain't, I don't even ask no question, but it's good. Yeah. You know? And we also got the grilled uh, onions. And yeah. Look at you. take a shot, y'all. <laughs> <'cause I didn't laughs> the take a shot. <laughs> um, we got the grilled onions and pepper. And y'all like that heavy. Y'all mess with it heavy. Yeah. You know? Grilled onions taste sweet, so I really yeah. like that. I mean, it do taste sweet, y'all. It, I'm not going to lie. They, but... I, you know, I would not have thought to put it. Yeah, that's fair. To eat that, you know what I mean? That's like, fair. You know, like it's it it looked different. I don't like I don't really like onions like that mm, in general. Right. That's right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, so I me. You like them incorporated into things? Yeah, they, they gotta be. Just, yeah. yeah, and they gotta be grilled. Right. Yeah, I'd be grilled. Well, these, are, these were these grilled. Are, yeah, 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 and that's what I'm saying. They were grilled, but like you know, I mean, if you look at it, you'd be like, "What am I supposed to do with that?" You know what I mean? Just put it in your mouth. Hey, hey. that's the <laughs> There we go. Um, but no, I I really really like them. What do you you, you we also had the same thing. I love the same thing. cebollitas. Mm-hmm. That's what they call. Which is because yeah. it's okay. not like the big onion, by the way. It's think of like the green onions. Right, the with the green stalk. Yeah. But these have like little bulbs at the bottom. I know they have a name. They're called bunching onions, I believe. Mm. Maybe I'm wrong. I, f- I don't know what they're called in English. But um, they have like a little bulb at the bottom, so it's like a regular onion, but smaller. Mm-hmm. And usually it comes with a green stalk. They cut off the green stalk. They grill the onion. They. How did you get it so juicy though? Like it still looked like it was like whole. Yeah, whole, but like uh, just a little bit soft. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah, I mean it's grilled. Oh, okay. That was a good answer. <laughs> maybe I didn't understand your question. Okay, and maybe your question. they were just good onions. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, hey, that's, yeah. the, that's it. That's it. It's maybe just, it's onion season. It's, is it onion season? Is it, is it April, April 4th? Is it onion season? <laughs> well, well, thank you for time in the podcast. Hey, hey, look. Is it April 4th? Hey, Monday. No, it's Monday. Oh, yeah. If they listen to it on Monday, it's April 4th. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, look, this place is, this place, it is a hidden gem. In my opinion, it's it's definitely a hidden gem because I feel like the ambience is like yeah. it's like it can not only is the food just good, the food is good, but like the people make the make the environment better. Yeah, right. always feel very I, much. Always feel like I'm 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 happier in the place I'm wanted, and they feel they make it feel like you wanted here. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. he even said he was like, "Hey, look, you know, we don't want to 
bother, you know, I typically don't bother people. I just ask you what y'all doing. You know what I mean? Like, got a right. podcast. He's like, but go ahead and be yourself. You know, he told right. us several other stories of, you know, people that just kind of use this place as a getaway, right. you know, from their normal life. You know what I mean? So yeah. uh, that to me is a good sign. You know what I'm saying? Where you can come yeah. here, get good food and feel like no pressure of life. Right. You know what I mean? Like right. that is a, uh, I like that 10 points off the top for that. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I also like their, their talk, their tacos, their menu is concise. It's tacos, huaraches and tacos de canasta. Uh, they have a bunch of juices. Mm. Like I feel like the the drink menu is it's, larger than the food menu. It, it is. Yeah. I, it, I think Which it is. is very interesting. Yeah. Um, but they have desserts too. We didn't try any of the desserts, but they also have I them. They milkshakes. have mil- milkshakes. Mm. Yep. Uh, Mexican soda. So if you like specifically Mexican soda. Yeah, uh, I'm a, I'm gonna say something because uh, the horchata, uh, y'all. Oh, if, right. if if you listen back to a funny thing, if you listen back to the episode where uh, uh, GSDC, lawn. yeah, yeah, Chicago lawn, uh, maybe it's just the lawns, places with lawns maybe. in them. I'm, I'm they I mess with heavy. They make they make an horchata. Uh, y'all know I didn't I didn't mess with horchatas, uh, and and uh, you know Chicago lawn put me on a lot over there, and yeah. now here, you know, it's yeah. very good. Very, yeah. very good. It's not yeah. grainy. So not it's at like, all. It's like a super smooth. I feel um, like, is it so now it's supposed to be not grainy, right? Ideally, like if you strain it enough, it's not, it just takes a lot of time to strain it to that, strain it to that point. Yeah. And blend it so it's smooth. Yeah. So, you know, it takes more time. Yeah. I take your time. You know? Shoot, it, but get it good. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like get it, get it good. That's, that's it. Any final thoughts on the food? Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Y'all need to come here. Y'all yeah. need to come here, and y'all need to eat here. <laughs> I'm glad you guys liked it. Yeah. Oh, I was yeah, a little we nervous. It. There's so many restaurants right. here, and I was like... How do you I choose wanna... one? Yeah. Yeah. One out of the hundreds of restaurants. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 This is a good pick. I'm yeah. glad you guys liked it. Oh, yeah. 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 We'll definitely be back. Yeah. <laughs> so if, you, if you're in the city and you're looking for a good taco spot, this is like 15, 20. 20 minutes from us yeah. from west southwest and it's me. only uh only five miles from this uh from uh the epicenter of chicago the right? loop, you the know loop. what i mean like so uh mm-hmm. it's not far if you if you are out of town yeah. and you do want to venture off into the city uh <laughs> this is a this is a good place for you to come to not far uh mm-hmm. you get back uh, to your little, you know, wherever you want to be, you know, yeah. in, in, in downtown. Uh, but yeah, come on down. It's not Go far. down to 26th Street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Explore yeah. that area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, man, just look, take a picture of history. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, to me, like, that's what it's all about. Yeah. Like, Chicago is, uh, we, do you know, uh, and this is kind of going back, but uh, last week, uh, well, last month, I uh, visited the oldest building in Chicago. Uh, and it's right there uh, in Prairie Avenue, uh, south near Southside. Um, on 18th in, uh, I believe mm-hmm. it's Indiana, I want to say. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, two of the oldest buildings in Chicago, homes. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, the point is, y'all come out to the city. There's mm-hmm. there's other things that you can see in the city other right. than Sears Tower. You know what I mean? Like, or the yeah. bean. Or the bean. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Like, with the, we, there's yeah. more to us than Especially beans. Especially if you're from the city and you, you're just not interested in going to these places anymore. Because, like, sometimes you want to act like a tourist in your own city. So yeah. these, are, these neighborhoods are a great option to come and spend the day or, like, a few hours out here. You know, like, walk yeah. around, eat some good food you know yeah put some money into the community you and know, then you know go to your little bubble you know listen to 77 flavors we'll <laughs> tell you why to choose chicago <laughs> hey that's a good one i like it i like, like it that. uh Swag tell surf. people where they can uh what's your website where can they reach out to you one more time and all that all that stuff yeah our website is lvcfchicago.org and for any general questions, um, you can reach us at info at lvcfchicago.org or call us at 773-621-8245. All right. Well, uh, yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> that's perfect. I barely I know my own phone number. That good. Yeah, for real. I don't know my phone number. <laughs> and on that note, uh, y'all be blessed. If you like this episode, send it to someone you like. Get some tacos. If you hated this episode, um, you definitely need some tacos in your life. <laughs> Maybe lay some meat on your tacos. Hey. Uh, try different kinds of meat. Okay? Because hey. <laughs> you're miserable if hey. you're at this point and you hated this episode. You should have logged, to- logged off <laughs> when Dario was laughing for five minutes straight. <laughs> And we'll see you next Monday. (laughs) Uh, Dario, Sarah, Christy, we out. (laughs) 
Thank you so much for listening to this episode of 77 Flavors of Chicago. We look forward to having you again next Monday. So make sure you look out for us on any platform where you can listen to a podcast. Make sure you rate, subscribe, and do all the things. And we'll see you next Monday.